Assalamu alaikum. Today um, I thought I'll make a quick video while I'm loading PyTorch, which is bloody two and a half gigs. Um, show how to install uh, Jupyter Notebook on VS Code and how to you know get the virtual environment running and all the good stuff, right? So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to install the required packages for uh, in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, I won't go into much details of that because it might change over time. So, you know, just go into VS Code, pip install, um, whatever is required. So Python, Jupyter Notebook, and all that. Um, the next thing you'd want to do is go to uh, extensions and type in Jupyter and then get the extension. Pretty, much, pretty sure I spelled it wrong, Jupyter. Maybe that's the right word. Okay, so yep, you want to make sure you have the extension, which is by Microsoft. You know, this is what I have at the moment. Uh, this is good. The, uh, there are some other um, ones, but who cares? Just install the one that you need for now. Okay, so once you've done that, you may have to restart VS Code, but then um, create a file called IPNY ipynb and then once you do that you should see something like this where um, you you can ha add like cells and um, you know you can run the code and all that so when you run the code obviously you wouldn't actually see this it, it will say select um, a kernel or something like that now obviously with python when you're installing um, modules or libraries whatever you want to call them some libraries work with different versions of other libraries, right? They have dependencies and case, cases like that. So what you would want to do is basically um, open up your environment, virtual, um, open up your yeah, terminal and then, um, well, actually before I do that, you can, you can actually use the terminal and you can use the basic, you know, start Jupyter Notebook code to actually start your local server for Jupyter Notebook, and then you can use the browser to actually do whatever you want to, right? Um, now, there are other tutorials that also tells you how to start the server and then connect your server with VS Code, but I won't show you that. I'll show you the most easiest way that I think um, you should do it, right? I don't know if there's any drawbacks to it. I haven't done much research, so yeah, just a disclaimer there. Okay, so what you would like to do is, um, I've got like a couple of versions of Python. So if I go like Python interpreter, you'll see that I've got uh, 3.9, 3.11.4, and 3.11.9, right? And each one of them has like a different path. So so my 11.9 is, I don't know why it says global, but it is. Um, I want to use 11.9 because it's latest. Now, um, you can see that I've created uh, my virtual environment using 11.9. Now, actually my Python by default is, um, if I just go, that's the wrong one. If I just go that, I think, okay. By default, you know, you might have Python uh, 3.9 running. Um, I know I had that issue where, you know, if I create, um, if I create a virtual environment, it just picks the 3.9 by default. So, in order to create the virtual environment with the correct um, version of Python, you need to put in the code like this. You, so, you need to give it the path of your Python executable for the desired version, and then you need to say dash make dash um, so dash m v and v, and then the name of the folder that you want for your mv, right? So, once you do that, you um, have something like this, v in v, and then if you can go to like Python in v config and you'll see all the good information. Let me just um, get out of this. So you see, you know, where the path is, what the version and all that, right? So now, once you've done this, you can actually go in here. Um, you can start off your virtual environment. So obviously it is, um, you know, this, line here do that you should see something like this which i have in my um, current 
uh, terminal dot env and then um, so now whatever um, libraries you install in the VS Code terminal here would also be available here. So for example, I installed NumPy, right, through my terminal. Um, then I was able to see the NumPy version. Now, when actually, when you go and try to run this, um, if you don't have a Python kernel selected, um, VS Code will ask you to select the kernel. Now I'm going to stop this because obviously my kernel is doing something else. Um, but it will ask you to select a kernel, and uh, depending on this, you know, you can just over here, if you had existing server, you, you can use this, but I'm just going to use Python environment, and then you can see that I've got all of these versions here, but this one, it says recommended, and this one says, like, my ENV is using this. So this is why you pick this one, right? And then if you don't have the kernel downloaded or installed, whatever, VS Code will take care of downloading it for you, which is great. Um, once you once you see like this is running .env, this env is connected to this env, so now your Jupyter is connected to your virtual environment, uh, which is what you want. Now you can, you know, do whatever, right? Like install packages, um, create your requirement files, and then you can run with it. So, yeah, let's leave it there.